Now we are going to be installing the Wraith Prism Cooler. These coolers are used for processors with a TDP of 95 or higher wattage. Now if you've used AMD coolers in the past, the design is fairly recognizable. It has two clips on either side and these two clips latch over here and here. On the bottom, it's all copper as you can see with direct contact with the heat pipes. Now before we install the cooler onto the processor, let's apply a bit of thermal paste. You need very little thermal paste, barely a drop right in the center. Now there are different methodologies used. Depending upon which school of thought or methodology you follow, you should be comfortable and you can go ahead with those things. Once the thermal paste is applied, you can bring in your cooler and align it first. Now, there's a bit of branding on the top. Now you can have this either facing that corner or you can rotate the cooler and have it facing this corner. It's up to you. The cutouts on either side of the cooler are the, are the same. We'll be aligning it in this manner. To do that first, we'll bring the cooler and bring it where we want to install it. We'll align it and then place it fairly on top of the processor. Now we need to clip both of these clips onto the mount at the bottom. Now I'll be attaching this clip onto the latch at the bottom. Then we'll flip around the cooler and align the other latch with the clip. Now that one's engaged as well. The last remaining step is to twist this particular lever and apply tension, thereby sealing the cooler onto the motherboard. Now it's rigidly fit and no amount of minor disturbances can move the cooler. Once that's done, you need to identify where your CPU cooler fan is supposed to be installed. In this case, we have a grey mount over here. Now your cooler fan is installed. If you want, you can attach the optional RGB connectors onto the motherboard as well. With the Wraith Prism coolers, you have the option of using either an RGB connector for the RGB function or you can use a USB connector for the RGB function. In this case, we'll be using both. First, we'll proceed with the USB connector. Now, the connector on the USB cable is a 3-pin connector which goes onto the right-hand side of the Wraith Prism cooler. Please hold the cable in a manner so that you can see the silver contact points facing upwards. Now grab onto the cooler and insert the connector and seat it into place. Then take the other end of the cable which is a standard USB header cable and insert it onto any of the free USB headers on your motherboard. In this case towards the bottom we have two of them. We'll just use it once. In case you do not wish to use the USB header and you wish to use the RGB header, simply get the RGB cable, orient the connector in such a manner that the silver connectors are facing upwards, grab hold of the cooler, insert the connector and ensure it's firmly in place. Then find an RGB header on your motherboard. This would be a 4-pin header. In this case, we do not have any RGB header on this motherboard, but there are certain cases in which you have. Simply attach and you should be done. This is the Wraith Prism cooler from AMD. And as you can see, there are two RGB elements on this cooler. One is on the periphery and the other is at the center with the fan. Now the one that's on the fan takes the RGB scheme from the motherboard. So you can see right now it's colored orange, which is the same as the motherboard, whereas the periphery is going in an RGB fashion 
and swirling all around. You can obviously control everything using the software of your motherboard or using AMD software itself.